Come on in. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. The letter in his desk. <laughs> How she knows about this, I don't know, but... So, tell me, Ken, why do you have a letter from Tiffany in your desk? What? What is this? Are you sneaking in here while I'm not around? Is that it? Maybe I'm just psychic. <laughs> yeah? Well, maybe I'll just call the police. I just want to find out what happened to Tiffany. Look, whatever happened to her, it had nothing to do with me. That's fine. Maybe you're right. But maybe you can tell me what happened so I can decide for myself? <sighs> you're a real piece of work. <laughs> fine. Go on. Ask what you want. <laughs> so what happened? Why keep the letter? Leave him. Well, let's start with what happened. So, tell me about Tiffany. Look. You breathe a word of this, and I'll have the police on you so fast it'll make your head spin. I won't say Lips anything. All right. Yes, I knew Tiffany. You probably guessed that we were involved. I gathered that. I was working late. We were doing spots for a new TV commercial, and she volunteered to help out. I thought she just wanted the overtime, but turns out she wanted something else. Okay. She came on to him? So she came on to you? Yeah. She wouldn't take no for an answer. Look, I'm a married guy with two kids. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't help myself. It was like a drug. Of course, the girl was completely crazy. I should have noticed that right off. <laughs> uh, crazy? Crazy? How so? My god, the girl was obsessed. Showing up at the office at all hours, stalking me, calling my house at night. She kept saying we were destined to be together, that it was fate. Even when I tried to break it off, she wouldn't take no for an answer. God, what a nightmare. I should have broken it off long before I did. Ah, <sighs> let me guess. Gavin had something to do with this. Uh, so you ended it. So you did end things with her. God, yes. I had to. Even if I wasn't a married man, the woman was a complete head case. Talking about the stars and fate and destiny. She even started calling me Turtle Dove. What a nightmare. Turtle dove? <laughs> so I buckled down and ended it. And she didn't take it well. I had to get a restraining order put on her. I've learned my lesson, that's for sure. No more temps. And definitely no more affairs. My life is with my wife and family. Okay, well, I guess that's good. Confirm it's over? What does that mean? Well, okay, let's start with why keep the letter. Why do you keep the letter if the relationship is over? I don't know. Nostalgia, maybe? It was nice at the beginning. She was crazy, but she saw something in me. I suppose I still want to hold on to that. Especially now that she's, you know, gone. Okay, confirm it's over? So you're through with Tiffany completely? Yes. I'm sorry she's gone, but I'm glad she's out of my life. What a total embarrassment she was. That's not nice. Anything else? So you're through. Yeah. What? A okay. Bye. Well, thanks. See you around. Alrighty. So what now? <laughs> what now? <laughs> Maybe go talk with Tiffany? We might as well. Joey, anything new in here? Let's have a look see. Nope. <laughs> I don't know why I keep checking. <laughs> like I'm expecting a dead woman to get Stay nailed. close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. Okay. Tiffany? Hello again. What? You have some explaining to do. Look, you're gonna have to face facts. Ken is through with you. You're lying. Deep down, he still loves me. He just can't admit it. He told me himself. I don't believe you. Hmm. What am I supposed to do about this now? Look, you're gonna have to f your deep he told I don't believe Is there some way 
turtle dove. Oh, well, let's see what this does. You called Ken your turtle dove, right? That's private. How did you know about that? He told me himself. All this mooning? He thinks it's pathetic. He... what? It's over, kid. You want my advice? Forget about him and get on with your... <laughs> well, you need to get over him is all I'm saying. I... no. I need to hear it from him. Oh, Just great. one more time. From him. Hey, wait a sec. Where are you going? Let me guess. That was Tiffany. <laughs> Why didn't you stop her? Because I can't touch ghosts? Right. Forget it. Let's just get after her. <laughs> Alright. Let's go to Sharp. I tried to stay away, but I can't stop thinking about you. Oh, dear me. Talk to me. Please, just talk to me. Come on in. Tiffany, leave the man alone. Confirm it's over. So you're through with Tiffany completely? Yes. Like I told you, I'm sorry she's gone, but I'm glad she's out of my life. What? What a total embarrassment she was. Oh. Embarrassment? Ken, you don't mean that. Do you mean that? Of course I do. With that squeaky, lovey-dovey voice and the way she'd throw herself at me in public? This is so I sad. you liked it! You'd think a guy would like that kind of attention, but she was so needy and desperate about it. This is desperate? so sad. I was not desperate! It was fate! She said we were destined to be together, that it was fate. I don't believe what I'm hearing. We're supposed to be together! Gavin I said knew so. it. I don't know why I didn't end it right then and there. But like an idiot, I just kept being reeled back in. I gave up everything for you. I gave up... I gave up my life for you. She thought I'd give up my entire life for her, but that was crazy. I only hope she found some happiness before she died. Died? Died? Am I dead to you? Is that it? I... I can't even look at you. I've got to get out of here. I need air. Oh my god. Whoa. Did you feel that? Feels like the AC kicked in. Anyway, take my advice. You meet a guy you like, don't smother him. He'll just run away. Oh. I'll keep that in mind. Well, I think that's everything. Thanks again, Ken. Sure. You know, feels kind of good to talk about it. And I, uh, well, I hope you'll be discreet about it. Don't worry. <laughs> This is so sad. Poor Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany. Tiffany? You think I'm pathetic, don't you? Oh, no. Not at all. Joey. I do. Why did I act like such a love-struck little girl? I don't know. We all act stupid sometimes. And that's Not the like truth. this. I couldn't stop myself. Why? Just because Gavin said we should be together? Gavin? Is that the psychic who told you to stick with Ken? Yeah, and I believed every last word. Why would I believe something so stupid? Ken was all I thought about. When he told me it was over, I was just angry I couldn't be with him. Gavin told me not to worry. That it was destiny. That we'd be together. It took me over. I wouldn't get out of bed. I just... stopped. So I'm sorry. Sad. I need to get out of here. How do I get out of here? Uh, I will tell you. You take this. Hey Tiff, I got something for you. What is it? It's something to help you on your way. Just one minute. What are you doing? Look at him, working at his desk like nothing's happened. I'm ready. So sad. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor girl. It feels good. The light, I mean. It feels good. Just head towards it. That's all you need to do. It feels like... It feels like Gavin. Isn't that strange? Yeah. Believing his words, accepting the lie, 
It felt good. Wonderful. I want to hate him, but I can't. It's like, it doesn't matter. We'll get to the bottom of this. I promise. Do you know where we can find him? No. He'd come over to my place. He'd talk, and it all seemed so clear. That's all I can remember. It's all fading. You better go. Thank you. I... I don't know what else to say. No need to thank us. It's what we do. Well, I guess this is it. Well, that was sad. She all taken care of? Yeah, I think she'll be all right. At least, I hope so. <laughs> this makes no sense, Joey. Hey? Her death. It was so pointless. I know. Who said there had to be a point? She didn't even like Ken. Not really. Haven't you ever been in love? That's not what I mean. You don't just die of a broken heart. Not literally. Maybe. Maybe not. But whoever this Gavin guy is, he put her up to it. I think we owe our friend Lisa another visit. Okay. Ah, oh, friggin' Lisa. I wanna kick her butt. This woman is driving me crazy. Getting people killed. Yes. Hi, Lisa. Oh, it's you. Have you learned anything? Yes, Gavin and Tiffany. I've learned something about Gavin and Tiffany. You have? I don't want to say it out here on the street. Can I come in? Yes. Okay, great. And that's it. Gavin told her to throw herself at this man, and it destroyed her. Tiffany. You should have seen her when she walked in here. So lost. Trying to find her place in life. Drifting from job to job, never finding what she wanted. She was a woman who wouldn't let herself be happy. Was her aura blocked as well? Look, she needed to believe that her unhappiness was beyond her control. I gave that to her. You hear that? She's doing a public service. Yeah, seriously. Judge me if you want. But she came to me. And then you sent her to Gavin. Yes, I did. Her, and the other one, and others. Good job. How many others? You killed them all. I never saw them again. I never knew what happened to they them. They died. I could the tell end. myself I wasn't doing any harm, but now that I know for sure... Why did you do it, Lisa? Was it money? Did Gavin pay you? No, it's part of the deal. If you want to operate a shop like mine, you need to make an arrangement with someone like Gavin. So it's what? a racket. Does that mean there are others like you? They are all like me. If you refuse, you don't last very long. I've got to leave town. This is getting too big. Not before you tell me where to find Gavin. You really want to do this? Even if you succeed, there are others like him. Okay. Uh, he killed my friend. I can handle myself. Someone has to stop it. <laughs> yes, someone has to stop it, but he also killed my friend. Uh, sure, let's do it for Jeremy. He killed my friend. And you were close? We might have been. It doesn't matter. I can't go to the police. There's nobody else but me. My grandfather died today. Yeah, we yes. know. Yes. He's the only family I had left. I have nothing holding me here. I'm sorry. Spare me. I'll arrange a meeting with Gavin. But give me a few days. I need to leave the city. I don't want to be here when this goes down. Your grandfather would be so proud. <sighs> Don't judge me here. I'm not brave. I'm just living. That's Can all any of us are doing. Because now it sounds like she's responding to him. Just living. This is what she calls living. She's helping us, Joey. Helping herself, more like. Don't forget, that lady's a scam artist. I haven't forgotten. She scammed three people that we know of. She tried to scam you. True. But she didn't, did she? Damn it, Danny. How could you let this happen? Joey. All that we went through just so she could exist. Joey. Explain. What? Ah. Uh. Talking to yourself on the street? You should know better, really. Of course, in this city, who would care? Uh-oh. Who the hell are you? This is you probably are wondering who I am. Oh my god. But I have a feeling you already know. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm really scared. <laughs> You're Gavin. No idea. A killer is what you are. You're Gavin, right? Gavin. 
Smart girl. Maybe they were right about you. He looks like Steven Spielberg. <laughs> they? What are you doing here? You know me. Yeah, who's they? They? What do you mean, they? You don't know, do you? No, of course you don't. There's no reason to. The truth is, we've known there was another one of you at work for some time now. We just didn't know who you were. It's been quite a race to see who would find you first. Someone would have found you eventually, but since you put yourself on my radar, I decided to come to you. Well, I'm here. What do you want with me? We are all fascinated by you. Who? A channel between this world and the next. The potential is just waiting to be tapped. You're a commodity, one I plan on using. Really? No, I'm no lab rat. It doesn't matter. Absolutely not. And if I say no? I'm afraid that's not an option. So you'd kill me? Great. Like those girls? Like Jeremy? I fed on those girls. Fed? They had all the potential in the world to be happy, but no. They wasted it. Squandered it. So I channeled all that positive energy out of them and took it into myself. If they weren't using it, why shouldn't I? There are people who go out of their way to sabotage their own happiness. I merely help them. What are That's you talking about? Sick. It's kept me alive for two centuries. Oh my god. Which is more than I can say for you. What? Hey. Red? Red, talk to me. Spirit guide, are you there? You're damn right I'm here. She's not dead. It's just a tranquilizer. Okay, thank god. I need her alive. You don't know how lucky you are. It's a shame we can't get to know each other further. Where are you going? Lisa, I have a package for you. Ugh. Hey, take it easy. Ugh, I can't move. What happened? You got hit with a knockout drug. You're tied up. Don't worry, oh I'll God. get us out of here. <laughs> this is getting Somehow. intense. Okay. Junk? Just a bunch of useless junk. Nothing that can help us. Um, closet? Looks like an old closet to me. Can we look inside? Anything in there? Crammed to bursting point with old boxes. Anything useful in them? Just junk. a bunch of useless junk. Nothing that can help us. Okay. Um, ooh, there's a glass. Shelf? Just a bunch of you. Okay, glass? It's an old glass. Looks like someone left it here and forgot about it. It's just on the edge of the shelf. Yeah, we can blow it off, I bet. Okay. Uh, we'll do that in a moment. After I'm done exploring the rest of this. Rosa. <laughs> she looks a bit dazed, but is otherwise okay. Okay, that's good. The door. Whoa. Whoa, this is weird. Okay. <laughs> Let's not do that then. Okay, blow the glass off. Okay, broken glass? It's glass. Yes, good. Can we blow it over to her, maybe? Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. Maybe this broken glass? Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. This broken glass? Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. Well, I'm... A... <laughs> Joey, <laughs> why do you have to be so difficult? Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. Okay, fine. Let's switch to Rosa. Can I reach the broken glass? Maybe? It's glass. I can't reach it. Um... No good. I'm stuck. I'm tied up pretty good. No way I'm getting loose on my own. Hmm. Nothing on there looks useful. Looks like an old closet. Hmm. True. Nothing on there looks useful. Shelf. Nothing on there looks <laughs> Okay, fine. Joey. He's just floating around like nothing's wrong. Um. No, he's pretty tense right now. Give him some credit. I was hoping to blow the glass over to her, but I guess he won't do that. Let's see what's outside. Really, Lisa? Oh my god. She's just sitting there, awaiting orders like a good little soldier. <sighs> it didn't have to be this way, Danny. 
Joey, explain what this Danny nonsense is. I'm not gonna waste my breath on her. Okay, fine. This door? Nothing. Nothing interesting in there. Okay, fair enough. Down the stairs. I'm not mistaken, I'm sure of it. Sure of what? Are you gonna say more? Looks like Gavin is using Lisa's phone. I told you, everything is under control. Hmm. Can I blow on him? Must I go over this another time? No reaction. Well, I'm not darn. sure, to be honest. Blow the earth. Not off. sure what blowing on that will achieve. <laughs> I've lasted this long, haven't I? What does that mean? I just can't come to grips with it. If you say so. Looks like an urn for somebody's ashes. Hmm. Must I go over this another time? Let's see. If you say so. Can I blow the photo off? I don't think that would help, but maybe it'll at least distract him. I understand. Blow it more? <laughs> if you say so. Okay. So I blew the photo into the other room, but now what? I'm surprised he can go this far away from her. Keep blowing it, maybe? Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. Okay, I guess not. It's the photo of Danny from the other room. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess that's all I can do with that. 